So there is one part of the Mass that I know many of us look forward to. It's the homily. Of course, of course, we all hope and pray, right, that it doesn't end up being a half-hour snooze fest in slow motion. A homily, after all, uh, doesn't have to be long. It just has to be good. You know, one that captivates, one that inspires, and especially teaches, and also one that makes you think. It's a chance for the preacher, uh, often a priest, sometimes a deacon, it's a chance for a preacher to explain the readings from scripture and to help you, the congregation, understand and apply the teachings of the Bible to your daily lives. It serves as a form of spiritual guidance, connecting faith with practical living. And quite frankly, the Mass doesn't feel complete uh, without it. No disrespect, of course, to the Eucharist. The Eucharist is what makes the Mass. In today's reading, St. Paul speaks of the necessity laid upon him to preach the gospel, saying, woe to me if I do not preach it. The sense of urgency and responsibility is a perfect reflection of the life and ministry of St. John Chrysostom, whose feast we celebrate today. Known as the Golden Mouth, St. John Chrysostom had a similar passion for proclaiming the Word of God. His preaching, though, was not simply an obligation. It was the core of his calling, of his vocation. Like Paul, St. John Chrysostom made himself a slave to all, adapting his message to reach as many as possible without compromising the truth of the gospel. And he spoke fearlessly. Boy, did he speak without fear. Even in the face of opposition from the powerful, always putting the salvation of souls first. As great and eloquent a preacher that John was, it was never about him. For good preaching, as Paul demonstrates, is not about the preacher, but about Christ and his message. Good preaching seeks to serve others and to meet people where they are and to bring people closer to Jesus. Good preaching or good homily is selfless, it's compassionate, and it is focused on helping the listener understand and live the truth of the gospel. I think it's fitting that in our gospel passage today, Jesus reminds us of the importance of humility and self-awareness in, in, in our preaching and teaching. He warns us against the blind leading the blind, emphasizing that before we guide others, we must first examine our own lives. It's why for a parish priest like myself who has to prepare a homily almost daily, I'm called to reflect deeply on my own spiritual condition, removing the log from my own eyes before pointing out the speck in others. We are never to preach from a place of superiority, but rather from humility, recognizing our own need for grace. Good preaching or a good homily is never self-centered, never arrogant, it can be firm, but never arrogant. And it mustn't become a platform for the preacher's ego or personal agendas. Because once the focus shifts away from Christ, well, the message becomes empty. Nor should one's preaching be full of flowery words or intellectual complexity for the purpose of showing off one's academic prowess because when a homily becomes a dissertation, when it falls short, it misses the heart of preaching. On the contrary, when one preaches with humility and clarity, the words become more authentic and transformative, leading others toward true understanding and growth in Christ. My dear friends, as I stand before you today, my heart is filled 
with profound gratitude and humility. And it is my deepest hope that the words I have shared with you in my homilies these past four, four years have touched your hearts, not from my own merit, but by the grace of God working through me. So thank you for your patience, for your open hearts, and for walking this journey of faith alongside me. Thank you for joining us today. Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. Daily and Sunday Mass, funerals, weddings, and fireside chats, among other things, can be seen locally, throughout the country, and even the world, in real time or at one's convenience. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org. Click on the gold donate button and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.